This match is now underway, and this is for an opportunity to face Rashad Wyatt for his XPW Heavyweight Championship. Hi, I am Damian Matthews, and this is a special edition of XPW Ascension, and we are already underway. Brian the Brain Carter, David Blake, two of the most worthy challengers for Rashad Wyatt's XPW Heavyweight Championship. Rashad has blatantly spoken about facing Brian the Brain. He said that that is the one man that he wants to face, the only man he wants to face. But David Blake has not stayed away from that title picture, has not stayed away from Rashad. He wants his title back. The former tag team partner, the former protege, trainee of Rashad White, wants his shot, wants his title back as, oh, Brian nails him in the face with a brisk knee. And look. Ton in his face, but oh, David pops him up in a big uppercut. This match has only just started, and they have already begun getting physical with each other. But Brian, now the upper hand and a clothesline to the back takes Brian, I mean, excuse me, takes David down, and now Brian laying on the punches and a big kick to the gut. And now he's just lighting off on David. This is also the first time Brian the Brain and David Blake will be facing off one on one. As they have had some, I would say, uh, what's the word I'm looking for as they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe right now. They've had experience against each other. Most notably at UCW's Civil War event as they were on opposing teams at that time. But a pop-up power slam lays out Brian. David, of course, the stronger of the two, is showing just exactly how powerful he is now. Just taking it to the brain in the corner. Personally, oh, excuse me. I, let me take that thought back. Is David just nailing Brian with knees down in the corner, just stomping, taking it to him like it's nothing. As as I was about to say, or excuse me again. Look, like, oh my God, David just not letting up on Brian. But what I've been trying to say is, in my personal opinion, if there is one of these two I would want to see Rashad face, I would say I want to see the David Rashad trilogy play itself out. We saw the one on an, ex on an episode of Ascension where Rashad claimed the title. We saw the match at Grand Conquest where it was sadly broken up by Jay Hall. And now we are in need of a rematch as David is showing off that strength once again with the third gut wrench powerbomb did not let go on three of those. And will he get a quick victory over the brain? A two count, but no, not enough to get the three. And in that same vein, the Rashad Bryan dream match. Six years in the making, it has been advertised tons of times but it has never materialized that is one match that of course all of us would love to see two veterans going at it two of the best that we have ever seen as david face plants into that turnbuckle and brian now hammerlock ddt drops him straight on his head and brian the brain is feeling himself and the fans are feeling it too as oh big forearm drops him down another one Brian is heating up. He's getting that momentum going. Oh, big for him in the corner, but he's not done. Whips him to the other one in an uppercut. He's still not done. Another uppercut. Oh my god, hits the ropes. Oh, and a clothesline. And another one. Brian stringing these moves along like it's nothing. Oh, to the outside now in the apron. Oh, and just leveling him with some strikes. Now. Oh, a rope trap stunner. And the brain. Is the brain going to go out? And oh, big dive to the outside. Brian has, as of late, been finding himself once again out and about. And he is reaching the heights that he was once at before. As we're seeing a cover now, will that be enough to take him out? No. But Brian the brain as each day, each week, each month passes by, is slowly finding his his way back to the top of the platform, back to the top as the greatest 
as a big frog splash from the middle of Ropey lands. And look, as he goes for the cover now once again. One, two, but again, Brian only gets a two count. And the Rashad Wyatt Brian the Brain Dream Match, as we have said, it has been six years in the making. At one point, it was the hottest match to make, and I believe it still is. It is one that I'm sure everyone would love to see. It is a story that needs to be told, that needs to unfold, but for that to happen, Brian has to make quick work, or at least put down the Black Knight as again he goes for the cover. And it's smart that Brian is doing this, of course, he is the brain. But after all, all of these covers, all of these pinfalls, yes, David is kicking out, but as each kick out he makes, he is exerting that energy. He is wasting that energy to keep himself in this match, and eventually he will not be able to stay in it much longer. And Brian, of course, knows this. As he's placing him now above the top rope, what does the brain have in store here tonight? These two have been laying into each other. And oh, Brian gets a kick straight to the mouth and David off of the top rope. A diving elbow drop to a standing. Brian the brain. David hits the rubs and now a clothesline. And another one. David Blake is feeling it. It's the ropes on an atomic drop. Back elbow Pele kick. What a quick fire combination by Brian the Brain, and he's telling him to bring it, and a big hesitation drop kick to the corner. Brian the Brain, I have never seen him lay off that combo before, but what, what a trick that he had up his sleeve as he whips David into the corner now. And he props him up once again, and I'm sure whatever he was planning the first time, he will get in succession this time, as now Brian follows him up there. And he's up at the top with David, but oh, David. David's fighting out of it. The Black Knight always sends Brian crashing down to the mat. And David with a frog splash of his own. One, two, but a no. No, that is not enough to put away the brain. And David now not wasting any time. What's this? Up on his shoulders. Oh, plants him on his face. And another cover. But Brian again gets the shoulders up. And doing the smart thing. Rolling to the outside. Getting distance between himself and David. But David follows him in. And oh, is staying on the attack. And that is in itself a smart thing on David's part. Not letting Brian breathe. Staying and smothering him in a big boot to the side of the head. These two, it all is for an opportunity as he whips him into the barricade. It's all for an opportunity to become the XPW Champion. Oh my God, what a kick by David. An XPW Champion, an opportunity to face Rashad and to beat him, to dethrone him. Rashad has defended that title only once this year, and that was at excellence in a tremendous triple threat match against Leo Sua and Trey Mercer. But now, what does David have up his sleeve? David, no, oh my God, a big boot. Squashing the head of Brian in between a ring post and his boot. And oh my God. But he's still not done. That in itself could get him a three count, but now power bomb position, what's he looking for? And oh my God. He just lays him out. Goodness. And he gets him up again. Now what's he looking for? And just bounces him off of the apron. My God. Brian the Brain is getting it taken to him right now. As David now finally takes it back to the ring. Just that little moment that they had out there could have been the turning point of this entire match as Brian could be out of this one two but no not just yet Brian does indeed get the shoulder up and David frustrated knowing that he had it but David now is looking to end it already 
as he's got Brian in his sights and the brain sidesteps. He sidesteps it correctly. And oh, uh oh, are we going to see it? Pedigree from Brian the Brain. A pedigree. And now Brian. Brian. He's got it in his sights. He's lining him up. And a punt kick to Blue, but no, David moves out of the way. He moved out of the way and he whips him into the corner. And now laying into the brain. Oh, Brian throws him in. A chop. And now gets him back. David now. Brian is stunned and David goes to the top. And Brian, oh, he follows him through. Uh oh, what's this? A falcon arrow from the top rope. One, two, and no, that is still not it. Brian, the brain, it could be his moment. Are we going to see it? Brian, our dub for the heavyweight championship. What the hell? Oh my god, it's him. It's our dub himself, and he's... He just said it, what? Are you serious? He just interjected himself into this and now. He lays out David and now Brian as well. The fans are not liking this as this match was just picking up. This was starting to get great and now another one sooth sail. What the hell? As we were just looking to see a winner for this match, Rashad decides to step in and lay both of them out. Why? What was the point? What a way to ruin a fantastic singles competition.